India has expelled a senior Canadian diplomat as relations between the two countries worsen over allegations by the Canadians that Indian agents might have been involved in the murder of a Canadian Sikh activist. Hardeep Singh Najjar was shot dead outside a temple in British Columbia less than three years after he was designated a terrorist by India. A statement from the Indian Foreign Ministry described the allegations they had been behind his death as absurd and motivated. Earlier, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau told Parliament he'd raised the issue with his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi at the recent G20 summit. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Canada is a rule of law country. The protection of our citizens and defence of our sovereignty are fundamental. Our top priorities have therefore been, one, that our law enforcement and security agencies ensure the continued safety of all Canadians, and two, that all steps be taken to hold perpetrators of this murder to account. Canada has declared its deep concerns to the top intelligence and security officials of the Indian government. Last week at the G20, I brought them personally and directly to Prime Minister Modi in no uncertain terms. Well, let's go live now to Mumbai where we can speak to our South Asia correspondent, Yoga Tilamaya. Yogita, thank you so much for, for joining us. Just remind us of the details of this case, the background to it. So, Hardeep Singh Nijar was shot dead on the 18th of June uh, by two masked gunmen outside a Sikh temple in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Uh, he was a prominent Sikh leader and he publicly campaigned for a separate homeland for Sikhs in the Punjab region of India. Now, that's the reason why India had issues with him, with everyone who's a part of this movement called as the Khalistan movement, uh, which is campaigning for the separate homeland. Uh, India sees it as a challenge to its territorial integrity and its sovereignty. Uh, and it's the, you know, this has been one of the big reasons why ties between Canada and India have been strained uh, for a while now. We saw that here at the G20 summit, frosty ties between the two countries. Justin Trudeau didn't attend uh, the president's dinner for all of the heads of state and heads of government who were here. Uh, you know, and even during his meeting, the, the photograph of him with Prime Minister Modi, lots of analysts looking at that said that it, you know, it showed, it displayed, uh, you know, just how frosty those ties have become. It's important to note, isn't it, that Canada has a, a very sizable population of, of Sikhs and that, that this is, is potentially why India would have looked towards the activities in Canada with, with, with the focus that it has done. That's right. And India today in its statement uh, is accusing Canada, uh, saying that the statement that Prime Minister Trudeau is making is an attempt to shift focus from long-standing concerns that India has had of people residing in Canada, indulging in what India describes as anti-India activities. Uh, you know, of course, in addition to the, the allegations and, and the rebuttal from India, we've also had on the ground, Canada has expelled a senior Indian diplomat. India has done a tit for tat as well, has said they're expelling a senior Canadian diplomat who he, they say have five days uh, to leave the country. The free trade agreement that was being discussed between these two countries, that was suspended um, a while ago, again, because of these tensions. So, you know, the turn it's taken today, uh, it's been a long time, I think, that, that, that India-Canada ties have been at, at this stage. And is there any indication from the Canadians as to, as to what information, what knowledge, what insight they have to make these allegations? Well, so if you listen to uh, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau's statements, you know, he has hedged himself. Uh, he says that that Canadian intelligence are investigating uh, credible allegations of a potential link. So he's used the word investigating, he's used the word potential as well. So no evidence provided yet as to what specifically these links are. Uh, he said that he expects full cooperation from Indian authorities to investigate these links. He's also said that he's shared this information with allies 
without mentioning who specifically he's talked to about it. But there are reports in Canadian media that he discussed it potentially with, uh, pri uh, with President Biden and with Prime Minister Sunak as well. India has been raising concerns about the Khalistan movement and leaders of the Khalistan movement, not just with Canada, but with other countries where there are sizable Sikh populations like the UK and Australia as well. Yogi Sir, Yogi Lamai, thank you so very much.